when you're caught by seasickness on a long voyage is not that bad. When you're caught as a stowaway, it's much worse. Just you wait. We'll be in Plymouth in no time, and the Park Patrol will have you sent straight to jail. A filthy cell for a filthy criminal. That's fair, isn't it? <laughs> Move yourself. I can't waste all day on you. Get up, quick. What a hospitable welcome. A man of the law who doesn't even care that the sailor has robbed me. My greatest sorrow is for my medallion. The only memory of my parents. Come on, move. If the orphanage in Nace taught me anything, it was to take care of myself. This officer doesn't look like he fancies a swing. Damn it! The white beast is dead. The dead body of young Sir William Arthur Lewis, infamous as the white beast, was found in the early hours of this morning by his servant. A doctor who examined the body confirmed natural though sudden death. The date of the funeral has not yet been announced, probably because of safety measures. During his short life, Sir William was accused of many different crimes. None of them have ever been proven. Stupid idea. I almost died there. What am I going to do now? Some clothes would be handy, and these handcuffs scratch like hell. No, it won't be that easy. Nice spikes. I wonder whether they have a practical use as well. Hmm. Let's try something. Hmm. That wasn't too good. I don't expect much of this. If I had a big hammer, I'd try to break through. I'll dismantle it into bricks, one after another, if it's necessary. go on like this. There are too many of them here. The first one came out easily. I don't care about the others.
It might be a way out. I can smell the fresh air. I'll ram it into the lock and hit it as hard as I can. Unless the lock is enchanted, it'll fall apart. I knew it. That always works. What kind of place is this? It smells as if someone boiled soap or something. soul in here. Damn, there's someone in here. Now I'll have to explain myself. Um, good evening, miss. <gasps> Holy Mary, Mother of God! What do you want? Oh, please, calm down. You've nothing to fear. If you touch me, I'll scratch your eyes out. Oh, look, can you see my hands? I'm harmless. Trust me. Get out of here! Miss, I'm not a criminal. They robbed me after I'd boarded the ship, and then they caught me as a stowaway. I came to ask for your help. You're my only chance. Why should I trust an escaped prisoner? I'm not a stupid ninny. You're right. I wouldn't trust me if I were you. Do you know what? If you want to call the police, I won't stop you. They're certainly looking for me, so please, you can just shout out the window. Sure, and as soon as I'll turn away, you'll attack me. If you don't trust me, I'll go downstairs, and you can call the English policeman. Just do it. I'm fed up with everything anyway. Wait a minute. Aren't you the prisoner from the port? One policeman's already been here. They're looking for you. So you can see I'm not lying. Do you really think I would harm a person? How could I know? But you really don't look like a criminal. My name is Timothy Moore. I'd doff my hat in front of you if I had one, miss. Emily Gray, and you'd better stop it before I start to blush. I'm not partial to talks like this. If you behave yourself, you can stay here for a while. I'm not particularly fond of the police, so I have no reason for helping them. But please, be quiet. The policeman said he was going to drop by again. Thank you. You're my angel, Emily. I'll never forget it. A few smiles and I'll have her eaten out of the palm of my hand. These simple girls are all the same. It's firmly hammered into the wood, but I'd more likely break it than pull the handcuffs off. I'd like to apologize once again for frightening you. It's all right. But I must confess, I froze with fright for a second. I didn't think so. You looked very assertive. Ha uh ha, -huh, in a pig's eye. But if you came closer, I would really scratch your eyes out, believe me. Oh, I don't doubt that. You're very courageous and kind. Any other girl would definitely oust me. Who knows, she might be right. So try not to disappoint me. I have a problem. I'd say you have more than one. Well, yeah, you're probably right, but this one's beyond my control. I need to get rid of these handcuffs. Could you help me? You can't really be a thief when you don't know how to get handcuffs off. Exactly. I'm just an ordinary man. I've no experience with situations like this. Neither have I. I don't know how to unlock them. Well, it wouldn't be possible anyway. There is no lock, you see. It's just the big rivet holding them together. But if you held them tight, I could manage to pull my hands out. Tim, I'm really sorry, but it won't work. I don't have the strength. Please, don't be angry. It doesn't matter. I'll manage. Damn, I'm probably pushing her too much. 
I must get a reading from the palm of my hand, otherwise she may turn me in. Emily, what did the policeman say? I don't think you have to worry, Tim. When he comes back, I'll tell him not to bother. He has no idea where you've disappeared to, but how did you manage to do that at all? I don't really know, actually. Suddenly I was in the water and I swam through the sewers. Oh my God, you could have drowned. Why did you risk so much? Well, what else could I have done? Englishmen don't care whether I'm a criminal or not. The fact I'm an Irishman is enough for them. You're right. But if they catch you now, you'll end up much worse. Exactly. What a clever girl. Now move and help me so I can get out of here. Emily, I won't disturb you anymore. Goodbye for now. It's all right, Tim. Come back whenever you want. I thought of sticking the chain in it, but I wouldn't be able to turn the wheel round. Could I use that angle? Sure, why not? What do you need it for? I've got an idea. I'd like to pull the chain through these rulers. You would have to turn the handle with all your strength. What? You're crazy! Don't you dare! I don't want to get in trouble if the mangle gets broken. Emily, please. There's nothing to worry about. I just want to try it. Never! I don't sweat blood here just to buy a new mangle. Stupid girl. My skin's bloodied and she cares only for the damn mangle. But there's no other way. I have to act like a proper gentleman. Do you know what's on my mind? I wonder what such a nice girl is doing here so late at night. Thank you, Tim. I'm truly exhausted, but everything must be done before dawn. Why do they leave it all up to you? You're not a slave, are you? Well, somehow I've broken the washing machine downstairs, and I can't afford to pay someone to fix it. The owner of the laundry was so kind, she allowed me to stay at night and finish my work. I won't let it be this way. You helped me, now it's my turn. I don't know. Are you able to fix the machine? You bet. Just leave it to me. But I'm afraid it could be a problem with these handcuffs. So what about helping me to get them off first? Tim, I already told you it's not possible. It's not worth breaking the mangle. I'm sure you'll manage somehow. Oh, stupid me. If only I'd kept my mouth shut. Now I have to fix that bloody machine. This reminds me I'm pretty stinking from the sewers. Maybe I could have a bath later. I'll be stuck here till the morning. I'll need to lubricate it, swap several sprockets, tune up the revolutions, glue something here, tighten something there, get a stocking to replace the band, or simply pull out this fuse. It's fixed, Emily. It was just a small matter. You're a treasure, Tim. Could you do me another favour, please? Anything you want, Emily. Now that the washing machine works, I need to melt soap in the water. Here you are. Okay. I can do this. Who does she think she is? She's using me. Bloody hell. If I didn't need her, I'd screw it. I wonder if it'll float. Hmm, it won't. I've got my pride, damn it. At least nobody can see me.
so it's done. The water's ready. Thank you. I'll stop by there later. I still have so much to do. Emily, could you help me to do something about the handcuffs? You can see I'd do anything for you. Tim, I thought you were a gentleman. I am, but I can't even get dressed with these things on. I'd like to help you, but it's really impossible. Are you angry? No, of course I'm not. How could I be angry with such a beautiful girl? She's pretty sly as well. If Brian saw how I was tricked by a laundress, he'd die of laughter. I'd rather have a bath in a whorehouse. That's it. They're pretty slippery now. It's good to see you again. I was just going to call you. See? One thought of me and I'm here. <laughs> Stop it. I've got some clothes for you. Emily, you're a treasure. And you're a great flatterer. <laughs> I'm going downstairs now, so you can get dressed. Oh, you can stay here. I don't mind. Oh, no, I'd rather go. I still have a lot to do. I like her. She pretends to be an ice queen, but she'll melt sooner or later. If they don't come off now, I'll have to cut my thumb off. Perfect. Now I can get dressed and finally concentrate on more important things. What a fuss today. I'm coming! Is the house on fire or what? How many times are you going to bother me? I'm sorry, miss. I have no other choice. I have to ask you whether you saw or heard anything suspicious. Look, Constable, I don't know whether I'm coming or going. I have no time to listen out for suspicious things. Don't use such a tone with me, miss. So go about your business and please leave me be. Just like any other decent citizen, I don't want to have anything to do with the police. Do you understand? Miss, I have to warn you that I have an official search warrant. Yes, I could have expected that. You can't catch your criminal, so it's a poor woman who has to pay. The police are showing their true colours again. Special. She handled the policeman perfectly. I wish she were willing to help me with the sailor as well. That would be great. I'd really like to give them back to someone. <laughs> 